I couldn't be found Off my big home The bare necessities of life will come to you They'll come to you Hey everybody and welcome back. So I know I haven't had a whole lot of activity at the moment on the channel. I haven't been able to really record anything. It's been really busy with work and um, the basement and getting that done. But uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on some new things that have been going on and uh, some new inhabitants. And yeah, kind of just give you guys a general update of uh, what's what's kind of going on in my world. So enjoy. So I uh, we went to Petco today and I was just looking around and um, I fell in love with these two guys. Um, I got a Koi Beta, which is the one to the left, who, as you can see, doesn't look the best. Um, I asked if I could get um, him cheaper, but they, uh, but the clerk was not willing to budge. So you know what, I said whatever. Um, I'm gonna see if I can help rehabilitate him and see if I can get him looking uh, healthier. So we're going to start him off in a quarantine tank. I'm going to be treating him with some water from the 55 and a salt bath, which I will be dissolving in the tank prior to putting him in there. Um, so what I like to do to acclimate these guys is actually, I like to get a couple Ziploc bags and let them float in the tanks for a while to get acclimated to the temperature. And then I will be adding them to the tanks. Um, I do have permanent homes for both of these. So he will be going in the 55 and then eventually once he's uh, looking a little bit better, and I'm not too worried about him. As you can see, he looks a little skinny and uh, he's not, he doesn't look the healthiest, but he is being active. And once he's, uh, once he looks better, he's gonna have a five gallon tank all to his own. Let's go ahead and get them set up in their new homes. So for our friend, the Koi Beta, I will be adding a tablespoon of aquarium salt and just a dash of prime, just like a, a few drops. So for our friend, the Koi Beta, I will be adding about a tablespoon of aquarium salt and then just a little bit of prime because I cleaned out the tank with a um, diluted water bleach solution and I just want to make sure that everything is a-okay. So this is really just for peace of mind. Uh, probably not even needed, but it's not going to cause any harm and it will only serve to benefit us. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do that while it's finishing up. So I felt this was important to mention. So I added my salts, as you can see down there, and they will be dissolving into the water as it fills up. Um, this is important because as it dissolves, it obviously, it becomes diluted. Um, but having such a strong concentration in such an area, if the beta was to be in the tank currently or near that area, it, it does have the potential to do more harm than good. So it is very important that you uh, mix your salts prior to adding to a tank or in this case, letting them dilute before adding the fish. Um, it just, it's a safer way. You don't want to have to worry about them getting burned from the salt or having any kind of negative reaction because we want this to be uh, a healing solution. So so our buddy, the koi fish, is now in his new home. Um, I'm gonna try to put some food in there and see if I can get him to eat. Um, but I also could use some help naming him. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what to name him. He's adorable, he's a cute little thing, and I can't wait to see him get a little bit more healthy. Um, but I'm glad that he's not just hanging out at the bottom. He's not showing signs of like any like uh, severe illness, maybe a little fin rot, I can't, I can't tell um, at this point, but I just know that he's a little, because his, his fins kind of look a little flayed in the back there, his bottom ones, yeah. So I don't know if that's just due to stress or uh, what, but let's see if I can get him to start eating, and uh, I'll be giving regular updates on this guy. So stay tuned, and uh, if you have any name suggestions, let me know in the comments. This is the king male, and he looks flawless. Uh, actually, he looks really healthy. Um, he's gonna be going into the 55 community tank. Uh, he's big enough where I'm not gonna be worried about how he's gonna measure up or if he's gonna get attacked. And, and I know that he will be a decent swimmer in the tank. But I've never had a king male before. Uh, he's actually much bigger than any beta that I've ever had before. <laughs> we have our king beta floating 
in the 55 and you can see everyone is very interested and he is also very interested in everybody else. Um, so I'm curious to see how, how this will play out. I'm not really that worried. Uh, everyone's just interested in everybody else. All right, we have a bit going on here. We have uh, some molly frying here, which I know I said last video I was comfortable with them going, but I just want to make sure because there are still a few small ones in there. So temperature should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my net and I'm going to put it over my bucket and then I'm going to pour the water and fish into the net. So that way it's easy. I don't have to try to like fish them out, out of the bag and all that fun stuff. This is quick and painless. I try to be careful and try to do it in one fell swoop so I don't get the ridges of the Ziploc bag. Not that they're rough, but I just like to be extra careful. Drain a little water first. And here we go. There it is. And here he goes. You might be wondering why I didn't bother like quarantining him or anything like that and just I it might seem a little cavalier to just kind of throw him in my uh one of my main display tanks and honestly uh after inspecting him I didn't conclude that he had any kind of illness or um showed any signs of uh parasitic infestation or anything like that now I know that sometimes it takes a while for those things to uh, show up, but I'm pretty confident that he is just fine. I've had pretty good luck with um, betas in general. Normally they are not always in the best kept environments, but um, in most cases they seem to be pretty healthy off the bat. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you guys next time.